They were soldiers here at Fort Bragg. But according to the U.S. Army, they were something else as well. Racist skinheads. A breed apart from the smart-looking paratroopers and the recruiting posters. And within the 82nd, they were not alone. Meet Burmeister's trailer mate, Steve Van So, and their buddy, Michael Fallon. I just believe in separation from all the, the trash in the world. Everybody wants to be with their own kind. The skinhead movement, with its shaved head trademark and angry music, has roots in Western Europe as a hard-drinking, nationalistic, working-class fraternity with a history of racism, violence, and neo-Nazism. At Fort Bragg, skinhead soldiers like Fallon traded the stars and stripes for swastikas, although Fallon claims not to be a Nazi. We all dressed the same, listened to the same music, and had the same kind of ideas for basic fun. But your use of Nazi paraphernalia you brand as fun? Okay, uh, granted, I had swastikas hanging in my room. No one took offense. By using the Nazi salute, that's not extreme? Not in my eyes. What about the people who still remember the Nazis? Who lost loved ones to them? What would they think? They can think whatever they want. This is America. Another soldier, Brian Lobianco, branded himself permanently with a shocking symbol of the Third Reich. Do you know what the SS was? I understand that it was just a military uh, uh, group. Oh, no. Oh, no. The SS were the killers. You didn't know that? No, I didn't, sir. Something was definitely amiss inside the division. But the 82nd Airborne Command seemed unaware of it. Did you think you had a problem with skinheads? No, we did not. Major General George Crocker is the commander of the 82nd. We have a number of feedback mechanisms. Um, none of the mechanisms told us that we had any problem. 